Alright guys, welcome back to another late night horror reaction. My name is James. I'm Nine Tail Brush. And tonight we're going to be reacting to episode 5 of The Haunting of Hill House. Once again, I've seen this show a long time ago, slept through a lot of it. Nine Tail Brush hasn't seen this show at all. We've been doing a watch through. Last episode we left out, we've been going through all the kids. Yes. Which means I feel like this episode's going to be about Nell. Which means I feel like we're going to get a lot of answers if it is. What about the dad? Or the dad, right? Because it's been going through the characters. Which, either way, though, we're watching two episodes tonight, so we'll get an answer soon. Yeah, yeah. We got big answers with Luke. That was a really good... You know, I think that... I could see that episode, like... I, I don't know what people thought about that episode. I could see people not liking that episode. Just because it's like... I liked it, so... I liked it. I thought it was an interesting character study. And I kind of liked how they really got into the addicts. And, like, yeah. not only, like, their personal journey, but also how it affects people around them. Because I think that's a very... You know, the classic take would be just the personal journey. Yeah. And I liked how it took in people around them. Anyway, I thought that was a really good episode. That left off with Luke being like, Nell didn't kill herself. And that episode ended. And we're finally seeing the kids' storylines really, really cross. Yeah. So, I don't know. It seems like we're all caught up. I feel like Theo doesn't think she killed herself. And I feel like Luke doesn't think she killed herself. I'm hoping we get some answers this next episode. And, uh... Yeah. Let's let's get into it. I get so anxious watching the young one because like she's so cute and I feel so like yeah bad right sucks. like she's so like just innocent and like ah. Oh. So she was the one seeing the um, bat neck lady. lady, and was this that it? The... Oh, oh, oh shoot! Holy! <gasps> This is the first night, though. That's crazy. Holy, that was freaky. I think that was the most <laughs> jump scare, jump scare like we had. I'm interested how much this twin thing translates, though, right? Because like, Luke and her seem to have a connection, and he trusts her, but he didn't see anything, which is interesting. As far as the the bent neck lady. Right? Yeah. Yeah, they see different ghosts almost. Yeah. But she does. I mean, he does trust her. And they have almost like abilities. Yeah. Like, I don't want to say that. You could hold on to it tonight, and when you're older, I'll give you this one. That exact one. This exact one. When you're older. <laughs> this one, the mom. Is this the? Oh, this is. We've seen this. That's such a freaky camera shot, dude. I usually start to panic and my breath gets fast. That's like a um, sleep paralysis. Yeah. It's pounding out of my chest. But it feels like hours sometimes. This is going to be your husband. And you said the first occurrence happened. Oh, you're right. Six, which is easy for the sleep dad to say, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I'm not a doctor. I'm just the sleep dad. Oh. Okay, um, what the hell? Sleep technician? Just, do you drink coffee? Uh, yeah, I, I, are you asking yeah, me? Yeah, so I was wondering, I was like, is he asking? Uh, it's, uh, for the health history section in your file. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. No, no, don't be. No, I, I really misread that. I was that. planning on waiting until the end of your visit to ask you out for coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, I, this is a weird thing, but Nell has such a, like, sad face that, like, I get, like, secondhand happy seeing her. I don't know why. It's just, like, her resting, and it's credit to the actress. Like, her resting face seems just so, like, yeah. troubled. Where's the, um... And uh, Cheryl. Cheryl. No Steve. Okay, no Steve. So this is. <laughs> hey. Oh, 
Dude, good for him, man. Even her dad's there. Yeah, everyone's here, right? Except for yeah, Luke. except for Luke. Luke. Wait, so do you think that that shadow figure that she saw was the bat neck lady? Well, not. Yeah, I mean the bent neck lady was that. I think it's real. I don't think it's sleep paralysis. I think it's real. Yeah, but she hasn't seen it recently. The drop. Ten minutes. It took almost ten minutes. Ten minutes. I don't want to stop it too much, but I think it is interesting that of all of the stories that we've been through so much, Nell's is the happiest. Yeah, like, this is actually happy. At least they're portraying it the happiest, and everyone... And then, obviously, we don't know what ends well, so... It's like, ah. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I love more bands. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get used to that, but I like it. It's perfect. Oh. <sighs> I'm scared though because we haven't seen the freaking the ghost thing. I I, I don't know. <sighs> Holy! What the fuck? What? What the heck? What the fuck? What? What? What the fuck? Did it like bend his neck or something? Like what the frick? What the fuck? What? Like, is he dead? Like what the frick happened? Uh, He was dead, and she was back. I don't expect you to believe me. Poor Nellie, man. Oh, I mean, she like, found one person that could believe that would believe her, you know. But like, fuck. And now people Maybe are. Jacqueline's cup of stars. I bet. It wasn't Here her she is. name, but. Jacqueline. Jacqueline Hill. Her mom owned this house, Mrs. Hill. This was her room, actually. Hazel, her name was Hazel. That's her when she was young. Did you know her? I did. I took care of her when she was old. She lived in that bed. She said a lot of things. The sick bed, the remember? Yep. Sense. So that is, the yeah. Kept saying was that Jacqueline needed her cup of stars. I didn't understand then, but I guess. Right, sorry, I'm a little confused. Like, Jacqueline is who and who? A, a, one of the Hills who used to live here. So this is this is a tea set of somebody who's dead, right? The Hills uh -huh. used to own Hill House. So yeah, we're yeah. just finding out now. The mom died in this room, which we know is the sick bed. But the room. mom is who? Not Jacqueline. Uh, Jacqueline. Hazel. 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 And Hazel. Jacqueline is the Jacqueline daughter is the who daughter. owned this, this, this tea, tea set. set. Okay, okay. Got it. Use your cup of stars. Insist on your cup of stars. Once they've trapped you into being like everyone else, you'll never see your cup of stars again. Is that mean? I'm, I'm like, I want to know more about the Dudleys, because I feel like they're the answers to a lot of this. Yeah. That was a little interesting the way she worded that like what right what happened would you like to tell your sister what you did i didn't but she said she didn't she's having one of her oh, things again yes are you okay no i have a steel poker in my head and my daughters are trashing my you know what you can help her clean up theo and i expect it to be done before I get back. I mean, she. How is she supposed to know anything, right? It's it's fair. She's in a mood. Yeah, but yeah, she's but definitely she's got something going yeah. on with these migraines. Okay. I swear. Oh, she's doing it. No. You didn't. 
Wait. Come play or something? It said come. Come, come, come home, home. Come home. But it was under the wallpaper. There's this whole theme of come home. Right? It's constantly being told to us to come home. Oh, we're back here. Oh no, I thought that was the car that. Um, this is not a rehab center. Dude, Luke, Luke, man. This is so fucked up. This is so messed up. Hey, you can blame it on addictive behavior or not. Whatever. We could argue about personal culpability later in the comments, but this is so fucked up. And the fact that he's guilt tripping her over it and playing into the twin thing and playing into, like, like what he knows about her, like, that is so this messed up. This hurts so freaking bad, man. It is And it's really like, I feel like so he's fun. preying on her because he knows she, like, cares about him and she's the weak link. If he really wanted to get well, you don't you don't start. I mean, like actually get no. well, not like how he's saying it. You don't start after something. That's like because never that how you already, get it done. That already is a hole in the philosophy. Yes, already. Like you being like, let me do it one last time. It's like already you're not yeah. approaching it yeah. from the right way. That already makes me think you've already lost. Like you have, you, you've already lost. Oh, I just feel so bad for Nelly. Like what do you do, man? Like. Sometimes they cannot, they cannot do things themselves. You know, he is under like the chains of heroin. Drugs. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, not a lot of people are gonna be this patient. No. And even like with Steve and Cheryl and stuff. Like, dude, such a cool shot. Dude. What the f- why is she saying her now? Does it symbolize something like that? Sorry. Oh. Anything? No. I'm sorry. That's her husband's. Here. That's where he died. Nelly, I don't want to. You said you. Hey, hey! The fuck! Nelly! Anything? She says no, alright? You really can't feel anything. I mean, I feel like. I can feel him here sometimes. I am feeling serious fucking concern. That is what I am feeling. I just want to know if he's still here. He's not. And that fucking sucks. And I know that. And I'm sorry, but you can't... You can't live like this. I mean, she's right. Jesus, when was the last time you cleaned? I came out here to see my sister. I thought we would go to a museum. I thought we would go to the beach. I thought we might get drunk and fucking cry. But I didn't think I would be treated like a goddamn... I'm sorry! sorry. What is this new doctor doing for you anyway? Honestly, Nell, I wish you would consider just moving back east. You were here all by yourself. I have Steven. When he's not on a book tour. I have to be here for Luke when he gets out. So he's a place to crash after a binge? He's in rehab. He made you buy him heroin. On the way in. Yeah, I mean... I never with yourself. You've never cared about anyone more than yourself. And that's sad. But don't lecture me about adulthood, Theo. Not from Shirley's fucking guest house. 
we were talking about this earlier today, and it's so fucking, like, it's genius of the show, and because they do it so well, it's equally heartbreaking of, like, like, they all know each other so well, but because of that, you see them, like, they know everyone's insecurities and their shit and they're dark, and, like, when you see this, like, tension, it all comes out. Yeah. And it's just so ugly and... Now you stand there and you talk about ghosts and spirits in any of it. No. And you tell me I'm crazy and that mom was crazy and Luke's crazy and we're all just nuts. And then you tell our stories. Seeing all the faces with you. The Christian face, the new age face, the crystal face, the anti-depressant phase you don't get to just start smashing up our lives because you're transitioning into a new treatment now <sighs> this was not the time or place not the time or place I feel like he's 100% using I can a valid mind. thing like that just like you told me to too. push her aside I'm not so sure I use it because you know this was never about confronting Stephen or your other siblings the problem is that you haven't confronted your past. It always comes back to one thing. The house. There's an excellent reason for that. Because it How was, you fucker. Just a collection Jeez. of bricks, and wood, and glass. I have that much power over people. And I think that if you were to look at it today, after all these years, empty in the woods, you'd find it's not a monster. It's barely even a house. Dude, is that why she went back? Oh. Carcass. Something has to happen, right? Because she was way more freaked out. <sighs> oh, fuck. She's gonna see her. Oh, no. She's having another one. <laughs> Holy... What? Wait, wait, what? It's Luke! Did he have to kill her or something? Tell your Aunt Janet gets here. What? She'll be here a little later. Later? How long is later? It won't be that long. No. You said you'd be right back before, and it was the longest time. Please. Okay. Oh. The little hands on the two, and the big hands on the twelve. She should be here, okay? But he should have told the other kids. Like, he should have woke them up. You hold on to this. Ready. His hand is injured from something. I do think it's pain. It looks like pain. If you look real close at it, it does look like pain. I believe him on that. Right, because it does I have I think the wrapping. mom went crazy, dude. It's got to be something like that, right? I mean, well, something. You know who I wish would write a book? Your dad. Uh, no. Uh, so, are you saying you'd prefer not to do a viewing? I'm worried about Luke. Have you talked to him? Call me. Oh Fuck no, dude. Dude, what's happening? Uh... <gasps> oh my gosh! Does that have something to do with, like, suicide, right? Like, hanging. That's right after she missed the call. Remember we saw the other angle? <sighs> Did time pass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freaking yeah. fast. Okay, holy crap. That's she actually was there super, for that was super cool, but... Wow. And that's when she called. The dad. Fuck, dude, it's, it's all, like, coming together. Ah, uh, like, I still, there's so many questions. There's nothing wrong with one another. Oh, no. Just a carcass in the woods. It's just a carcass in the woods. Now, where are you? I'm at home. In bed. I want you to go to Stephen Lee's. I'm, I'm, I'm going to drive to Orlando. 
Remember I told you the lights were on? Oh yeah, fuck on. no, dude. Remember Luke said it wasn't a suicide. No, it's flashing. it's flashing again. To come home. It wants them to come back. So yeah, yeah, All yeah. of them. It's like the house is alive. Oh, there you are. Where have you been? It's almost bedtime. We were gonna have a tea party. Oh no. Oh, okay. This isn't real. This is the house. This no, is, this is, well, yeah. And then it's not even like a memory or anything, though. It's, no. This is. My goodness. We need to get downstairs. Downstairs? Of course. We can't be late for the reception. Yes, that is. You're totally right. She goes into the other it's room. It's like taking all of her like happiest She's memories. Happy. Yeah. Sorry for everything I said. I always should have believed you. It's trying to keep her here, Not like, you know? Yeah. Oh, no. Thanks for believing in me, Nelly. You did the trick. I'm clean and sober, all thanks to you. No, no, no. Hi, gorgeous. Wait, who are these people? Who wait, these wait, people? wait, wait, that's the guy, that's the yeah, guy with yeah. the fucking hat. These are all different people. Look, they just switched. So they're going to the red room. Careful. No, 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 dude. What is weird? The frick? Do you get it? So she is the bad net lady. Yes. Here, turn on the lights. Sorry. 
so obviously I, it, would be, it would be impossible for me not to remember that. Uh, so yes, she is the bent neck lady. Holy what? That was a fucking awesome episode. I don't. I never really understood how that made sense. To be honest, though. So is it like, like was she revisiting those moments, trying to tell herself something? Like that's my biggest question that I never understood from the show. Is that like, why did she, why did she as the bent neck lady appear in those moments? You know. I mean, I I want to see the rest of the show basically to figure out like if there's anything. As far as, you know, explanation. Such a fucking or heartbreaking what. episode, dude. Yeah, it just sucks because Deli is one of the most She was so I like, say pure. Innocent. Yeah, because like she didn't really everybody had their own like fucked up shit. But she didn't. I feel like she was the one that took the least and gave some of the most, right? Yeah. But that's how it is, right? Because those kind of people do. They give everything. Too but much like... sometimes. That was freaking crazy, dude. And that ending was so fuck. Ah. Why, like? I mean, it was so masterfully done. Like, the actress playing well Nell. Done. Amazing, obviously. Um. To be honest, I don't really know what it means for the future. I feel like the house is something, though. Like, it, the house is, like, a character. And, it, like, seeing this moment, it feels like that now, right? Where it's, like, yeah. it's using these things against her to try and, like, get her. There's something definitely with the whole, you know, previous family, the hills and stuff like that. And something going on with them. And, like, because... Well, now we're dealing with, like, almost weird time travel shit, too, right? Where, like, I don't even know what to trust anymore because it's like, okay, well, she was the bent neck lady, so, like, what the fuck is everything else, you know? Yeah, that's so weird. And my natural thought would be to be, like, the guy with the hat is Luke then, right? Yeah. But it's not because we saw the guy with the hat in this and it's someone else. It's some other ghost or part of the house or something. Right? Like we've seen him and it's not Luke. I was thinking like could this bent neck lady possibly represent thoughts of like suicide and things like that? And it's kind of it will get to her during certain times or something? I mean but look, I think I think this entire show has a whole allegory about dealing with death and mental health and but I feel like you can't really make a judgment on that till the show's over but I do think there's obviously underlying themes of all of that yeah, in the show that it's are huge hard, parts of the show it's hard to kind of come up with a sort of reasonable like analysis for what I saw but that is huge we know that she was that she didn't kill herself and that she was the bent neck lady. That's huge answers. Now it opens up a million other doors. Yeah, it does open up a million other doors and million. But more I feel questions. like the most concrete thing that we can say coming out of this is that Hill House is evil, and that's why the dad reacted the way he did, and that's why it did what it did to Nell. Yeah, it probably did something to the mom. To so it's not as much of like a because at least I feel like I was watching. I was like, it's the ghosts, right? It's like there's all these different beings. But to me, I I don't even know if those are real ghosts or not anymore to me i'm like the house is evil it's possible yeah i don't know any theories this was the biggest I thing know. i remembered i honestly don't really remember where it goes from here i, I don't i feel like something happened like the same thing happened with the mom or something okay and then the mom was either taken over or replaced by someone else who was who was in league with the house basically i feel like the or you know was just part of the house yeah and the dad somehow figures that out the problem is i keep going back to those flashbacks yeah of like what the dad saw right because after theo touched him she saw stuff she saw the mom hurt yeah 
and we know that someone was it Nell or somebody saw the mom hurt as well in this episode yeah and then they saw the dad getting hurt or something and also that weird thing in the cellar it was like a body though yeah it was like a zombie which we still haven't had an answer for that yeah and it but it didn't look like a zombie like alive it looked like an actual mummified body yeah and it looked like it was in the room that nell no that not luke, nell, um, luke theo found. luke theo. and theo both found well theo was the only one who opened the door yeah yeah, yeah. i feel like it was back there or something but what i don't know man yeah i can't exactly say it's tough it's, all i know is there's something I mean, on a technical level, this episode was fucking... Oh, yeah. It was awesome. Be- like, the only word I can use to describe it was beautiful. Like, it yes. was so sad, but it was so... Ma- it was my favorite episode, hands down. Like, hands down. It was artistically tragic. It was just so beautifully done, though, in the music and the theme and everything. And it was just this, like... Shit. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah. Um, as always... Thank you guys for watching. Obviously, episode 6 is going to be out tomorrow. If you can't wait, you want to support us, go check out the Patreon. We love you for it. If not, it's coming out tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, like I usually say, full-length reactions, the whole thing. Next week's reactions, those are all up on Patreon. It does it supports us, so you want to go check that out. Link in the description. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.